Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program, and you might be wondering, what am I doing back here? Well, Kerbal Space Program was updated with three new missions, so over the next couple weeks, I'll be taking a look at those. Uh, the last, the first mission that we can do is Sally Hut 1, and you can see by these uh, icons that they are part of this stock mission, the race to space. And now there's a mission difficulty uh, entry here that I didn't notice before, but Acapello 15 was an intermediate difficulty. Um, no hard mission difficulty yet. Even Z Ziggy Kerman and the spiders from Duna are intermediate, but Sally Hutt, an intermediate here. The next major step in space exploration is sending Kerbals to live long term in zero G. On this mission, you will launch the Sally Hut 1 into Kerbin orbit, where it will become the first permanent space station. It will launch without a crew, like a new condo in space, ready for its new owners to visit. Let's do this, and let's do this indeed. So, on the launch pad, we didn't have to build a thing. So, let's go. Let's take a look at the map and see where they want this thing. Okay, so it's not gonna show until we launch, huh? Why you gotta be like that, Kerbal Space Program? All right, let's take a look here and see. See, land at orbit, Kerbin at 80K. All right, so that is our goal, 80K it is. That's what we're gonna do. Do we have SAS on this thing? We do. All right, so let's go ahead and throttle up to full power and get going. Three, two, one, skadoosh. Good lift. Let's go ahead and pitch on over to the 90. Assuming they want this in an equatorial 90 uh, orbit. I mean, what? <laughs> if they don't, we're going to done goof. Let's take a look here. All right, so I guess it's just 80K in any direction. So we will utilize the awesomeness of the planet's rotation to get us going and just stick right on that 90. We're picking up quite a bit of speed here. I like it. And those uh, outside rocket engines are doing the work lifting us up. All right, we can throttle back to 66% throttle so that we're not uh, spinning our tires as it were, making this fuel last just a little bit longer. We're pitching over nicely and we're through the thick stuff. All right, let's go full power and stage. Ready, skadoosh. All right, good clean separation. Staging is clear. It looks like we have another section in our staging to do before we pop the fairing, so I don't want to stage just yet. Let's take a look at our Apo apps. We are climbing at 25K plus. We need to get to 80, so we definitely don't want to overshoot uh, the 80K because that's just wasting fuel and pointless, so we'll keep an eye on that. All right, awesome, 35K and climbing. Looks like uh, this main booster section will do the work for us, which I'm pretty happy to see. If I have to make a guess, this is an over-engineered rocket, but being intermediate level difficulty. Greetings. I realize post-launch is a bad time to make additional instructions, but hey, Sally Hot must be in a low orbit for our experiments to work, so launch in an 80K circular. That's what we were going for. Good, sir. And now we have our... Um, projected orbit here. Looks like we need to turn a little bit more south. So let's pull this rocket down southward a bit to get this uh, this trajectory node closer to the 90. I do enjoy the fact that it's right on the equatorial. It takes all the uh, difficulty out of it. There we go. Pretty much bang on on the 90 there. And once we get to 80k we'll go ahead and cut here. Alright, so there's 80. I'll go ahead and set our maneuver. Now we're going to be staging here, it looks like, after this. So this, st this uh, section will not get us all the way into our 80. Now this thing better be going in this direction. Yes, it is indeed. I was going to say, if they wanted us to launch at the 270, they've got another thing coming. All right, let's go ahead and get to our maneuver node. Good torque on the rocket. Nice to see. We can go ahead and also extend our solar panels since we are about to exit the atmosphere. We definitely don't want to run out of electric charge. A 46 second burn, it says. So we'll go a little bit before and do like a T minus 30. So we'll go ahead and warp forward to T minus 30. 
and then go full speed, do the stage, and then pop the, um, the fairing here. Or will we have enough fuel to do it in this section? No, it doesn't look like we will. I mean, that'd be pretty cool if it did. A nice, um, efficient approach to orbit. Get ready to stage and skadoosh. Off we go. Then we'll go ahead and pop the stage there. The fairing was housing our, uh, our center section. So it makes me think that this is like a two or three part mission because we have our docking ports here. So maybe, just maybe. All right, Apple Waps is there at 80.9. And we should be all set to get into an 80K orbit. Maybe just a little bit of finagling. All right, we'll cut that and see what happens. So a 76 by 87, but that's good enough for government work. Great work. Sally Hutt is in an ideal orbit. The next step is to send up a crew to live there. The next part, launch, rendezvous with Sally Hutt and Doc. Simple. Since we're testing the effects of long-term space habilitation, there's no time limit on this leg. Still, you don't want to be at it forever, right? Indeed, we do not. So let's go back to our launch pad, and there we go. So it looks like our volunteers for this mission is Jebediah and Bob in this... Uh, quite interesting looking spacecraft. We've got the P re-entry module and there's our docking port. So it's gonna be interesting controlling from one of these docking ports to slide into the space station. They say there's no time limit on this. So we're actually gonna go ahead and fast forward around until we can um, get the space station to fly overhead. So it's going to be coming around. We're going to go ahead and set that as our target. There we can get our uh, information about it. And it might be a little bit closer to sundown when we launch. Yeah, something like that should be fine. All right, let's go. SAS on. Three, two, full throttle, one, skadoosh. Up we go. We'll tilt on over to the 90. And this seems like a pretty stable rocket just on the liftoff. It seems like it's uh, obeying my commands. It's pitching over nicely. Let's go ahead and turn pro grade and get some speed up. And yeah, we are flying through the uh, this first stage very, very quickly. Yeah, let's go ahead and throttle down. We don't even need uh, that much juice to get up here. Just these two stages here to get us off the launch pad. Let's go ahead and stability assist right there and sort of keep our uh, inclination heading upwards. Oh, this thing is starting to slip. Let's give it a little bit more throttle. Oh, we're flipping out. Full throttle. Go, 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 go. Go prograde. All right, tragedy averted. We'll stage. Okay, got into us just a little bit. And holy crap, this thing is unstable. Oh man, I was not anticipating that. Can we revert flight to the last vehicle spawn? We shall. Man, I was not anticipating uh, that, <laughs> that amount of um, torque that we got. All right, we'll go ahead and fast forward then for the space station to fly overhead and give that another go. Something like that. All right, SAS on, Jebediah. Try not to flip out this time. Three, two, one, go. Let's go upwards a bit, shall we? Let's try to get out of the thick stuff before we tilt on over. We'll tilt on over just a smidge. That way we can sort of get some of our velocity going. And let's try not to get as an extreme angle as we had before. Are these swivel engines? They are indeed. So the swivel should be able to keep us in line. Unfortunately for the last launch, we did not. And it's already starting to uh, lean and tilt over, which is interesting indeed. Maybe that's why this is an intermediate level uh, task, that this rocket is kind of flippy flip. But we're looking much better this time around. Let's, oh, snap. All right, let's pivot around, swivels. Just like that, we're good. Stage. Man, this thing is a beast. 
Tragedy averted. Jebediah gets some points for skill. Uh, as this fuel burns off, I think we'll be a little bit more stable. And we probably need to go a little bit more northward, but from what, or southward, but what I can see from this first uh, excursion is that if we get off of our um, trajectory, it's going to be a bad day. <laughs> as long as we have atmosphere that we're fighting, we need to keep this thing pointed right in there. Bad news! We've received your error message. Malfunctioning, you won't be able to dock with the space station. I'm trying to read! All right, let's get back on target here. Abort the launch and land on Kerbin. You can land as close as possible to the space center. All right, avoid the water. We'll be able to use the command module right away. All right, so basically we're uh, turning right around and we're full throttling in retrograde. So we'll kill all of our lateral velocity and really start uh, coming back and that's going to be a a difficult thing for sure all right let's go to the 270 and just keep on burning as so we'll be picking up speed we're falling a bit but we are gaining some velocity here all right cut the engines this thing is on a flippy course, that is for sure. All right, full power now. All right, we're coming back to the space center. We're going to avoid the water if we can. Flip. Flippity doo da, flippity day. Give us full power here. We're about out of fuel. Let's go in stage. Oh, man. Okay, so that slammed us into our section here, but I believe we might be able to kill some of this velocity here and get this thing pivoted around. It looks like we didn't have enough to clear us of the water, but if we can kill our velocity here and then, you know, pivot our way westward, that should be fine. If we pop our parachutes now, that may be bad. Where is our parachute, by the by? Right there. So we'll deploy our parachute to get us to slow down. And then we'll see if we can point westward a bit and get off of the water. I was not anticipating this. Matter of fact, nope. Okay, so we need full throttle until we get to 1,000 meters and we should slow down enough to sort of push ourselves toward the space center. If not, we'll revert the flight and try it again. All right, parachute, we're gonna need you to deploy sometime soon, if you please. And I heard splashing, that was probably our previous stage. All right, we need to point westward. There we go, so the parachute is deployed. But we do not have enough engine thrust to get us there. Yeah, we're going to be out of fuel shortly, and then we're going to fail the mission because we're going to land in the water. Now, had I been able to read the error message that time, we could have flipped around sooner and get closer to the space station. All right, so that's going to be it. We'll go ahead and stage then and see what happens here. And I'll uh, see you in the water. All right, great news. We're ready to launch, repair the Sally Hut, and take up permanent residence. A little spin from our PR team, and the public thinks it's all part of the plan. Now launch, rendezvous with Sally Hut, and repair the station to make our spin a reality. All righty. So let's... Uh, Okay, so we can't recover the vessel. All right, so do we go to the map view then, the tracking station? Do we have another Sally Hut Soyuz 10 and Soyuz 10 part two, we shall fly. All right, so who is gonna be on this mission then, I wonder? Is it Jeb? Nope, Valentina and Load Bro. 
All right, so it looks like a very similar design to what we had here. Let's wait for the space station to fly overhead once more. And it's going to be sort of in the nighttime, just as the uh, sun is setting. Set as target on the Sally Hut. All right, SAS on. Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's see if this rocket decides to flip out on us or if we are going to be good. So we needed maximum thrust on those swivel engines to keep our course nice and steady. But I'm still going to keep going right in our vector. Just sort of nudge it on over if we can. Nope, 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 nope. I tell you, the you, you have to shoot the tube. Like, you cannot get too far. You have to maintain full thrust. Cut. Spin. Full power. Dang it. All right, so staging is good. Now we need to go. There we go. Now let's pick up some speed. Tragedy averted once more. I think we'll actually be good. Once we can exit the atmosphere, we'll be fine. We are still pointing at the Sally Hut. Right there is our target node. I believe it is flying overhead and we're picking up some speed to intercept. So that should be fine. We're clearing out of the atmosphere, which then we shouldn't have to worry about this thing flipping out on us once we can. And we're in a pretty decent, I wouldn't say ideal or perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but we are pitching over. We are picking up some speed and we should be able to exit the atmosphere well. So there we go, full pro grade. We are at full throttle. And yeah, we're pointing a little bit south as far as that goes. Can we nudge this thing over to the north just a touch without it flipping out? Well, we're picking up a lot of speed here. So we're right there on the horizon. Let's try to go stability right there and keep her pointed straight. Wasting a lot of fuel here fighting this atmosphere. I thought we would be clear by now. We'll just have to make do. Yeah, and I don't think this thing's specific impulse is... Whoa! Okay, so it flipped us around backwards. <laughs> Not the most graceful of approaches. Can we get this thing pivoted? Go! Nope, crap. We need you to go that way. Go that way. All right, let's save it. We can save this. Oh man, we're gonna be falling into the atmosphere really quick here. Go! Oh, don't get off the vector. Come on now. It's like wrestling a freaking pig. Here we go. Man. This thing is unstable. Why would you do this to me, Kerbal Space Program? Well, because Kerbal Space Program, of course. Full power. Nope, cut. Yeah, we've wasted a lot of fuel and time on this thing. Let's just give it a restart. Man, revert flight to the last vehicle spawn. I tell you, this rocket is a handful. Indeed. That is no joke. No joke indeed. All right, Soyuz part two. All right, we had a clean separation. We are now trying to get into orbit again. This is where we're looking like we're a little south and we're a little high, but that's going to help us uh, offset our speed of the space station. It's uh, right there, and it looks like we are one degree off, so hopefully that's not going to uh, be too detrimental to us. Unlike last time, we're actually going to uh, pop ourselves out of the atmosphere on the other side and uh, do some work there. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and kill that um, maneuver node and then speed up on this side, make it a little bit more efficient. 
Now let's see what we can do to get these guys together. Actually, let's just work on circularizing for now. So 96 and 95, that should be fine. And then that way we can just worry about uh, making the best maneuver and timing it well. So T minus six, five, yeah, in that general area. So still a half tank of fuel. So we should be fine as far as that goes. There we go, now we are not going to fall back into the atmosphere. We can plan our approach accordingly. And let's see, if we were to add an orbit. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of orbits, but we could get there with relative ease. 36 kilometers there, 20 kilometers there. And with no time limit? I mean, interesting. We kind of want to get them right at the ascending and descending node, don't we? Uh, let me faff about with these uh, maneuver nodes here and see what I can come up with. All right, so I've got a maneuver set up in two days' time uh, that will put us within 3.3 kilometers, and I think that should be fine and dandy. Let's go ahead then and we'll do some warping here. And I will see you when we are ready to burn. Time warp complete. We've done two days worth of orbits and now we have a maneuver that I think is going to work out pretty well for us. It's only a 59 meter a second burn and we're going to wait until about, I guess, T minus 10 to fire that. Just in case. And skadoosh. And cut. Alright, let's see where that gets us into the grand scheme of things. So 9.9 .9 kilometers. I think we can do a little bit of finagling here. Uh, let's go prograde. And just try a little smidgen of thrust. Nope, that is the wrong way. So retrograde it is. All right, a little bit of smidgen of thrust. Whoa, whoa, back, 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 back. Man. I tell you, that, that full throttle button gets me every time. So a bit of a fuel waste. But that should be fine here. All right, I've got my finger on the right button this time, thankfully. And then as soon as we start to see... Okay, so 4.5. Let's see, let's try to get a normal here. We're bringing that descending node right down over the top of the meeting place, so we should meet in the same plane thereabouts. Something like that, 4.4. All right, if we were to radial out, what would that do for us? Oh, it's bringing us in, but not too bad, not too close. Okay, 80k and 119, that should be fine. Let's try another retrograde here and see. Three kilometers, I think that's close enough for government work. All right, let's SAS off, warp two, right before the encounter, and then we'll change to targeting mode and then get slowed right down compared to our target. And thankfully, we're slowing down as it is, but I think as soon as we get closer to the uh, periaps, our speed may pick up. Actually, it seems to be working out quite well for us here. Yeah, we'll only have to slow down just a little bit. All right, so something like that. We'll get to our closest approach point, and then we want to go retrograde to kill off any speed. So it looks like the space station may be bit down there. Oh, nope, that was our closest approach. Let's go ahead and kill all of our 
Velocity. That button. All right, let's kill it again. I'll tell you, my fat fingers. Close orbit, we're expecting you to maneuver and orbit or dock in less than five days. We can do that. Now we want to go towards the target here. All right, so eight meters a second. Where is that going to put us here? We're gonna meet right over there, 3.4 kilometers. Let's try to burn. Well, we could do our RCS. And adjust our approach there. 3.3. All right, so we should be pointed right at the target. That's 0.1. Outstanding. Then all we have to do is flip around and stop. And we should get the docking done in time. I'm not worried about that whatsoever. EVA, repair the station with an engineer and repair the faulty docking ports. All right, seems like we can do that. There's the craft there coming into view over the ocean. It's a good thing I decided to uh, wait and make our maneuver during the day. All right, there's the station. Let's go ahead and get into a parking orbit here. 0.5. Yeah, I think we can point towards the target and get over there just a skosh. Something like that. All right, station in view. Let's go ahead and kill off our speed ever so slightly. All right, so point one, we're pretty much parked and I think Lodbro is our engineer. All right, Lodbro. So we've only got orbit and surface. All right, so there's a space station there. All right, RCS, space bar so he flips the correct way. And we'll just head on over and repair these docking ports. So do we need to go to the docking port itself and repair? Or do we need to board? I think we might actually need to board. All right, so the lander can. Yeah, I believe we are above the docking port or the, uh, the entryway here. Indeed. All right, now let's see if we can grab on here. There we go. Beat aboard. Well done, the engineer fix, and you can now dock with it to board the rest of the crew to the hitchhiker. Outstanding. All right, Valentina. Let's go ahead and head on over there, if you so please. 1.6 meters a second. We want to set this thing as the target and then as we get close we sort of want to do that and then we will control from here all right let's go retrograde control from here then all right so looks like if we did that and we did that we can rotate up something like that now is that going to fit Oh, it kind of does. There we go. Docked. Not a perfect, you know, 90 degree dock, but that's fine. Ca uh, Valentina, if you can, go ahead and transfer into the crew cabin. We'll deploy the solar panels and settle in. Let's see how long you can live in space before suffering any mi major ill effects. Isn't science fun? All right, so 
I guess we gotta retract and deploy to sort of get this thing uh, jump started maybe. There we go, success. So a silver award we completed. So we did our orbit, we orbited Kerbin, we rendezvous with Sally Hutt, we got the hit, boarded the hitchhiker. Nice, with a fuel efficiency bonus, save and quit. So that the hardest part of that mission for sure was the flippity floppity uh, Soyuz for sure. But not too bad. It was it was a, a nice challenge for sure. But next time we're going to do Acapello 13. And if we know anything about Apollo 13, something is going to blow up. Awesome. But that's going to do it for me in this episode of Kerbal Space Program. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program for Acapello 13. Take care.